Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name. Hello, I'm Lawrence Owen, and this is Sportscaster News. Broncos, Philip Lindsay says that with the new offensive philosophy that he's really excited about the 2020 season. Now, mainly because they now have former New York Giants coach Pat Shermer as the offensive coordinator. And he's really excited about it. He said, I think it's going to be simpler for us to learn. I think it's just going to be aggressive. And I just think that that's what fits my style. I I mean, I've been able to adapt to every style, but I think that this style right here is something that's going to fit me. Kind of like how my rookie year was. And I'm excited about that. Now, if you didn't know, Lindsey averaged 5.4 yards a carry his rookie season. And, of course, he, he dropped quite a bit in his sophomore. But he goes on to say, I pride myself in being consistent. I'm put, I'm going to put everything out there. When I'm there, I'm going to put everything I got. And I'm going to be dialed in on my plays, on the runs, on my blocks. It doesn't take me 20 carries to get an explosive run. I'll find a way to get explosive in five. Once I get a feel for the defense and the linebackers, I got them. Well, I'll tell you what. Phillip's going to have a little bit of issues because, obviously, in the offseason, they picked up Melvin Gordon's to split carries with Phillip Lindsay. But that's not knocking on the overall production that the Denver Broncos have. Because, in my personal opinion, the Denver Broncos may have the NFL's most improved offense. The most improved. But before I get into why I feel that way, I want to thank everybody that's sitting here joining me on Sportscaster, like the next here on Sportscaster. Please, if you're watching this, smash that favorite button. Give me a follow. If you can't give me a follow or join in the live chat over here in the box, that means you don't have a profile. Spend 30 seconds on Sportscaster, make a quick profile. And if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like. Hit the subscribe and check out the notifications, the description of this at the bottom. Also want to thank Paul and Broncos 19 for joining the stream. Now, my opinion on why the Denver Broncos may have the most improved offense in the NFL this year. Well, I mean, it could have to do with with Pat Shermer from the Giants coming over the Broncos to be the offensive coordinator, but it's not. It is quite frankly what John Elway has done this offseason to improve this offense overall. I mean, dear Lord. He went out, got Graham Glasgow, all right, to improve that guard position. Huge deal. As I said earlier, he picked up Melvin Gordon, right, to go along with Philip Lindsay. That way, they're sharing carries. They're fresh all game. Now, they go out and they draft Lloyd Cushenberry in the third round. Great, great pick for them. But in my opinion, the steal of the draft, the steal of the draft was in the sixth round when they picked up Natane Moody from Fresno State, a guard. Now, right now, on their depth chart, he is last, right? He's last on their depth chart right now. He's sitting behind uh, Austin Schlotman and Dalton Reznor at the left guard position. But I promise you that's only because he's still recovering from that Achilles injury. If he could fully recover 100% from that Achilles injury, he is going to be perhaps most notably the biggest road grading run blocker in this draft. Now, he's got some issues with with pass pro, but that's why he's a guard, not a tackle, right? This guy can move. He's a people mover. That's what he does. 
He, he just, he moves people so well in the run game. Melva Gordon, Philip Lindsay is absolutely going to love him once he's fully healthy. So that's, I mean, you've absolutely improved the center of that offensive line with Glasgow, Cushenberry, and Moody in the center. That's, that's going to protect him right up the gut. That's going to protect Drew Locke and keep him from having to gain pressure up the middle. That means when you got guys on the edge that's coming in on him, out on that outside edge, he's able to step up, Drew Locke is, and be able to throw the football. But who's he throwing it to? Well, obviously he had Cortland Sutton last year, right? He had Noah Fant last year. But they went out and picked up K.J. Hamler and Jerry Judy to go along with them. Holy crap! Drew Locke's going to have an absolute blast throwing this football around. Noah Fant, K.J. Hamler, Jared Judy, Cortland Sutton, and then Melvin Gordon and Philip Lindsay to be able to dump the ball off to as well. Don't forget Royce Freeman's not half shabby either at the running back position. This offense is going to be stacked. All Drew Locke has to do is prove that it was not just some kind of crazy rookie year for him when he came out last year and showed that he was actually pretty good. Because I'm telling you, I am telling you, that GM, that GM for the Broncos, he went out and just loaded him up with talent around him to make him just flash this year. It's unbelievable what he did for him. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, well, I mean, you've already got Kansas City. Well, that's exactly why they went out and did it. Denver's already got a great defense. Great defense. They needed to go all in on offense. And it's not like they stopped. I mean, they went out and picked uh, OJ Medea to make up for the loss of a certain nickel corner that they had in free agency. They picked up McTelvin, a defensive tackle out of Arkansas, you know, as depth on that defense. So it's not like they just went all out offense. They picked up a couple guys on the defense to help out. But man, they hit a home run on offense. John Elway just slammed it right out of the park, in my opinion. And this offseason, slammed it out of the park. They're going to have problems in five or six years when they have to pay all these people because they're going to need to pay them because they're going to... Now, a lot of people's like, well, Jerry Judy's not guaranteed. K.J. Hamler's not guaranteed. That's why he picked up both of them. Cortland Sutton was already pretty darn good, right? Is Noah Fant... Noah Fant didn't shine. But they picked up a tight end in the fourth round just in case. I'm not pronouncing his name because I can't. His first name's Albert. His last name starts with an O and I'm not going to pronounce it because it's got like six syllables. And I'm not going to do the man injustice by trying to uh, straight up try to pronounce that. But I like this tape. Okay. And they even picked up an extra seventh round. Tyree Cleveland from Florida. They went all out offense because they already knew their defense was that good. Now, if this hits the way John Elway and I personally think that this is going to hit, Denver's going to be pushing, not just for wild card. They could surprise some people in Kansas City. Will they win the West? I doubt it. Is 10 wins out of the question? No. I fully think Denver's got a tough schedule, but 10 wins ain't out of the question for them. And they're in a pretty tough division too. I mean, they got the Chargers in Oakland to go along with Kansas City. 
but I think they are by and far the second best team. Actually, I think they're the best overall team in that division. I think overall they're better than Kansas City, but Kansas City's offense is just so darn spectacular. And they got a good pass rush. And that's that's what this team is built around. Pass build up the lead, have a pass rush to be able uh to get after teams when they are one dimensional in the pass game to try to keep up with Kansas City's offense. So they're built right. They're built in that aspect. But Denver is just all around built really, really well. And if they're coached well, offensively and defensively, if they're able to bring out the talent offensively like they can bring out the talent defensively, if Pat Shermer can somehow get all these guys together so that they can exploit what they do best on any given play, watch out for the Denver Broncos. I'm telling you, watch out. I want to thank Jane and Steph for joining my stream here on Sportscaster as well. Now, I have given you what my opinion is on Denver. I think they are definitely going to make the playoffs this year with this improved offense. And they're already very good defense. If you agree with me, say something in the chat down below. Hit that like button. Give me a follow. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen for Sportscaster News. And I want you to have a good one. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.